<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In this episode of Tool Time, we'll be looking at the Shaper tool in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along, then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'll pass you over to our lead designer, Rory, who will show you how it works. Thanks, Ross. So jumping straight into our template file, we can find the Shaper tool over on the left-hand side, and the keyboard shortcut is Shift-N. So quite simply, the Shaper tool is just a very quick, freehand way of creating basic shapes in Illustrator. I can start using this by simply clicking and dragging, and I'm going to very roughly try and create a circle here. You can see how rough this is. However, when I let go, you can see that Illustrator is able to tell that I'm trying to create a circle so it automatically creates a perfect circle and you'll notice that it's applied a gray fill with a black stroke as well so it doesn't matter what color I select it's always going to apply a gray fill and a black stroke to the shape that's being created. Now it doesn't just have to be circles I could equally create an ellipse by creating something wider looking here and you can see it does a good job of detecting the shape I'm trying to create. I can also do things like squares or rectangles and also things like triangles in this case and even a hexagon as well. So this one is slightly trickier. You can see how rough I've created this but it's still detecting that it's a hexagon I'm trying to create and I'm also able to create straight lines with this. So you can see again being very rough with this it's still detecting that I'm trying to create a straight line and it does a good job of correcting this. So I'm just going to delete these and you can see how quickly we can create some shapes like we've got in the scene to the left. So you can see I'm being incredibly rough here as well. So as you can see, it's very quick and easy to create these basic shapes and we can always go and edit these objects as we would be able to do with any other vectors as well. So this is very quick and easy and it can be a real time saver if you're trying to just quickly create some simple shapes and lines. But that's it for a quick introduction to the Shaper tool. If you want to learn more about graphic design, we've created a free one hour training where you'll discover the top five secrets of successful designers which saves you the hassle of having to figure it all out for yourself. We'll be showing you how to immerse yourself in the sector you're designing for, creative thinking and how to spark creativity, what good composition is and how you can achieve it in your designs, how to pick the right colors for your designs and how to pick the right typefaces for your projects. So if you're serious about leveling up your design skills, then make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. Space is limited and these events always fill up fast because they're significantly better than the information others charge you for and ours is free. The link is in the description. You're not gonna to want to miss it. I'll see you there. Mm -hmm.